I want to take a second and talk about crochet hooks. Fun fact, crochet is the French word for hook. So when you say crochet hook, you are saying hook hook, but everyone says crochet hook. Um, and some people will just say hook, but it's fine if you say crochet hook. It's not like when you say chai tea, which is really annoying and the dumbest thing ever. Anyway, <laughs> I have a lot of different hooks. I've been crocheting for over a decade, so I have quite an array. Some of them have fun, quirky things like these light up. Oh, that's kind of out of batteries. I don't really use these light up hooks for their light up feature too much because I do crochet just by feel, so I don't watch what I'm doing too often, but I like them because they've got these nice little rubber grips and they're like wider, which are good to hold on for, to for a while. They're more ergonomic than say this, which is your more standard hook. And even this one, um, little focus, is better than one that doesn't have this little section where you pinch right here because this adds for a little bit more grip. I don't think I have any of those just like straight across ones. Oh, actually I do, but this is a little bit wider so it's less relevant to it, but when it's smaller like that, that can this grip can be a good step up in terms of ergonomics. And then you can move on to something that actually has like a wider grip here and then it's more comfortable to work with. The reason that you'd want all of these crochet hooks is that depending on what yarn you're using, you will need a different size hook. And sometimes if you already have your yarn, but you want to figure out how it fits to a gauge or something and you need to make it bigger or smaller, working up or down a hook size can be the way to do that if you don't want to have to replace the yarn that you've gotten. And yeah, there are a lot of different, different supplies that will be like accessories for crochet but the only ones that you absolutely need are yarn and a hook and then here's another super tiny one from my great grandma from Jamaica so it's kind of cool probably won't use it though because it's super tiny and working with thread kills my hands and then I have this one which kind of feels more like a magic wand to me than a crochet hook um, I don't use it too much because it also doesn't feel super sturdy and I'm just like afraid to break it because it's so pretty. What a detail. So that's another crochet hook that I have that has its own case. And then I also have these which are pretty neat for on the go crocheters. This was actually a gift given to me by somebody at a convention who was a fan of my crochet cosplays and it was the sweetest thing that has ever happened to me at a con. Look how cool these are. Also, they're metal. And they're like solid. And yeah. And then on all crochet hooks, you're gonna have a label. They might have a different label than other ones. Like this one has got more going on than this one, right? It's all different information, but there's a chart that explains the difference between US sizes, UK sizes, and everything. So it will be labeled, and once you figure out what the labeling is, see so you've got our, our F size here so that we can know it's a US size. You can uh, figure out with your chart if that's not the sizing that you're trying to find the info for. But yeah, these are my favorite sets of crochet hooks. And I can also do this. Yeah, let me know if you've got some cool crochet hooks. Uh, I usually, oh, I had a huge collection and then I got rid of everything when I got hit by a car and couldn't crochet and had to drop out of art school and, you know, thought I'd never crochet again. So I've slowly been building back my, like, hooks for teaching, um, my little, like, class supplies. So that's what the majority of these are. I also have gravitated towards these. If you are around small children who teeth, um, I don't know if you can tell, but this is the uh, teeth marks of a, a baby. I just let her hold the crochet hook because, you know, if you're around a baby that's teething, it's just worth it. <laughs> so pro tip, crochet hooks, teething. Obviously not an unsupervised one though, because like this could be a choking hazard so quickly. Yeah, 
So I'm slowly accumulating my crochet hook library. And I'm always happy to share with people who want to learn how to crochet.